And hello there, and welcome back to another great video from Wondershare Dr. Phone. We welcome you to our channel for the latest information on technology and the digital world. So today, our topic of discussion will be the iPad Wi-Fi. So if you're facing some issues of, let's say, the iPad keeps dropping Wi-Fi, keep watching this video to the end because we've got some great solutions for you. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon for all of the latest updates moving forward. And with that, let's dive into the details to understand why your iPad's Wi-Fi keeps dropping. Part 1. Why does iPad keep dropping its Wi-Fi connection? So first, we will look into some potential reasons, explaining why iPad keeps dropping Wi-Fi. This will give you an understanding of how to deal with the problem. As you always know, to deal with a problem, you first have to know the problem itself. So first things first, poor signal receiving. So having a bad quality signal on your Wi-Fi router can become a major reason for dropping signals. If there is a pertinent issue with your Wi-Fi router or your service provider, you will face connectivity problems on your iPad. Poor attached accessories. You might be another crazy fanatic about attaching accessories to your iPad. It might include encasing the device with a thick cover. Usually, these covers might have problems with their quality, which may hinder the Wi-Fi signals. They can become a barrier in the connection, leading to the iPad disconnecting from Wi-Fi constantly. Hardware failures. Issues with the iPad can also be a major cause of disconnecting Wi-Fi in the device. So these problems can direct to the hardware, which needs to be addressed properly. The only best way really to deal with these problems is to have your iPad checked out. Software issues. There are multiple instances where software becomes the perpetrator of the iPad Wi-Fi problems. From the operating system to other settings, the problems can be diverse and lead to multiple issues, such as the one under discussion. You require a proper software check of your iPad to resolve these issues. Now as for part 2, repair iPadOS quickly with Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS. So as you have understood some potential reasons explaining why the iPad keeps disconnecting from Wi-Fi, we will now observe a proper technique explaining how to repair this problem. So for the first method, we will be coming up with best option available in the market, which is going to be Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS, which provides the most appropriate and explicit tool for repairing iPad issues. Since we have discovered that software issues are the most defined reasons for Wi-Fi disconnection issues, Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS comes as the definitive solution to this problem. Now, this impressive system provides the best features that you can find in the market. While it protects your data during system repair, it is also very diverse when it comes to compatibility and things like that, especially in comparison to other competitors. To know how System Repair for iOS helps you in repairing the Wi-Fi problems from your iPad, look into the provided steps next. So step one is going to be first that you must download and install the latest version of Wondershirt Dr. Phone on your computer, then proceed to select System Repair and then connect your iPad OS device to your computer through a lightning cable or a USB-C cable depending on which iPad you have. Specify the device by selecting iOS and then continue to the next screen to select iOS Repair to resolve software issues with your iPad. As you continue to the next screen, look for the specific errors that your iPad is facing. On selecting the problem or vice versa, continue by clicking Repair Now. Next, you will have to select Standard Repair to proceed toward iOS system recovery with no data loss. So following this, you are required to put your iPad into recovery mode. If you are aware of, of the technique, proceed and select Enter Recovery Mode. For those who face difficulty in putting their iPads in recovery mode, they must select guide to recovery mode and follow the on-screen instructions. So once the device gets in the mode, the platform detects and displays the probable iPadOS firmware versions that can be installed. So look for the best one in your case and then click on download from there. The iPadOS firmware downloads on your computer which verifies by the platform. Once it is done, click on the repair now option to install the firmware on your iPad. Part 3. Fix iPad dropping Wi-Fi due to software issues. So if you seek more solutions to resolve the software issues in your iPad, there are going to be multiple free options that you can go with. However, these solutions are highly based on the intensity and conditions of the problem. So they might or might not resolve your iPad that keeps dropping Wi-Fi problems. Fix number 1. 
one, restart your iPad. So the first thing that you can do is just to restart your iPad to resolve all basic software glitches. Usually slight issues in the device can lead to network connectivity issues, which are easily re resolvable. For that, you must follow these simple steps that are described coming right up. So open the settings of your iPad and then proceed to the general options. Look for the shutdown option by scrolling down. Then as you shut down your iPad, wait for a few seconds and then hold the power button to turn on the iPad. Fix number two, try updating your iPad. It is highly possible that your iPad is outdated in its operating system, so the best way to get away with this problem is by updating your device to the latest version. To practice this process, you need to simply follow the steps coming right up. So access your iPad settings once more and then look for the general section. Find the option of software update on the next screen. As the iPad looks for updates automatically, it, it will display the respective updates next, and then you must click the download and install option to to proceed with the updates. Fix number three, reset the network settings of the iPad. So another process that you can apply to resolve the iPad Wi-Fi issues in your device is by resetting its network settings. So for that, we have provided this simple approach of proceeding with the steps in the video as follows. Step one, find settings and look for the general section on the respective screen. Next, you will discover the option of transfer or reset iPad to look for the appropriate option. Here, you must click on the reset to access another menu. Then select reset network settings from the options that appear next. Follow the on-screen explanation to reset your network settings on the iPad. Part four, pros of Dr. Phone compared to other solutions. So with the options observed as follows, you have seen that Wondershare Dr. Phone gives a more appropriate and controlled solution for iPad Wi-Fi connectivity repairs. In such a case, we have mentioned some more advantages involving this tool, which will help you get to a decision for resolving your iPad's problems. So for that, you must look and listen carefully ahead. So Wondershare Dr. Phone provides a solution with no threats of data loss, unlike other methods that do not leave behind the data. It is also very simple to use Dr. Phone for iPad OS, system recovery for all types of issues like black screen, white screen, iPad stuck on Apple logo, etc. The platform is compatible with every major iPad OS and iOS version, hence the iPad OS and iOS devices. You're not required to utilize tools like iTunes to recover your system issues on iPad that can cause complete data loss. Part 5. Final solution of none helps you out. So what if you still haven't found the right solution that can resolve all iPadOS system issues, including Wi-Fi connectivity problems? For that, you will have to compromise your iPad's data and use iTunes for this purpose. And to protect your data to some extent, it is best to back up everything from your device before trying out this process. To execute the method of repairing iPad not working with iTunes, you must observe the next steps very carefully. So first things first, connect your iPad to your computer and launch iTunes to continue. Then select device button on the top left of the window and continue to select summary from the left panel. On the window that opens up, select restore iPad and follow the on-screen instructions to restore your iPad. Now for part six, learn more with Dr. Phone. So with that, we bring this video to an end. We do hope that you have discovered all possible ways to resolve iPad Wi-Fi not working. And if you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and let us know your opinions in the comments. For more videos, subscribe to our channel to get such informative solutions. So with that said, see you in the next video. Have a good one.